Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Paradox runs. It's Saturday, another stream day. I'm cracking my neck, cracking my fingers, drinking some water, relaxing, resting, getting ready to play another run of Enter the Gungeon. And once again, we start with the Marine starting pistol. I say once again, but it feels like, you know, over the past 10 runs or so, We've gotten this starting weapon like three times. It's a good starting weapon. I'm never going to complain about this one. But what is our starting passive and gun? Well, I don't know what our passive is. I don't see us having any more HP, money, blanks, keys, whatnot, armor, gun, JK-47. Which, you know, again, I, I feel like we've had the JK-47 relatively recently. It's not a bad gun to get as your starting weapon. It's technically better than your starting pistol, so you might as well use it. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Hey, stop right there. Gotcha. We definitely do not have any sort of, like, rate of fire increase, speed increase. We might just have, like, an accuracy increase. Slower enemy bullets. That's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> now that now that I see it, I, I do understand. He's not gonna walk into the pit, unfortunately. Now that I've, I've noticed that we have slower enemy bullets, I'm seeing the bullets being slowed on screen, but that's a hard one to realize, you know. At least the, the player movement speed increase or the dodge roll increase on the player, that's a little bit easier to recognize because you don't have to pay attention to the enemy bullets as much. And honestly, I don't really internalize enemy bullet speed as, as much as I probably should. Maybe that's why I take so much damage when I have a speed increase or something. <laughs> Speaking about, you know, previous runs that we've had, last run, oh my god, the last run was incredible. If you haven't seen it, you really should. We had Lament Configurum, Clone, uh, just an absurd amount of curse and power to our shots. Basically infinite, well, not really infinite ammo, but enough weapons that we didn't have to worry about ammo. It was just a incredibly weird, chaotic run with a lot of stuff going on. I think we ended the run with like 44 keys or something silly like that. Good lord. Hello. Aid flexing like who needs to pay attention to bullets. <laughs> It's not a flex, it's a, uh, I should probably be a little bit better at noticing the bullets and their, their bullet speeds and whatnot. I'll do it. Staff of Firepower. I'll accept it. I mean, let's be honest, we do need a boss-killing weapon, and now we have one. So, I'm perfectly happy having a Staff of Firepower. What, what am I just gonna use the JK to kill all my bosses? Hardly. Oof, 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 oof. If only we could get something that lets us steal. I would love to get a decoy on this run. Oh my lord, I would love to get a decoy. And yeah, Astos, I usually alternate, or at least lately I've been alternating between Paradox and then a random character because I, I like the randomness of the Paradox. I like having random weapons to start a run with. It makes it a little bit more exciting and interesting. Although, admittedly, the um, visual effect of the Paradox character is a little wonky sometimes, and I sometimes can't really tell where I'm standing because I just look like a, you know, blue horror that is not of this universe, but hey, it is what it is. All right, Staff of Firepower, let's do this. You know when you're playing a run of Gungeon, you're basically going to get Trigger Twins on any run. <laughs> Most common first floor boss for me, I think. Unfortunately. That being said, Staff of Firepower is extremely efficient, very high damage. And that was ultimately a pretty easy boss fight. We get Predator Gun. Predator Gun actually lets us steal. I don't believe it. I love it. <laughs> so we can buy the key, or we could steal Elder Blank, Grab Table Tech Blank, Grab Table Tech Sight, 
go down to the next floor with zero keys, but then have all of those items. Okay. We're gonna steal Table Tech Sight. We're gonna steal Elder Blank. We're gonna buy Table Tech Blank. We have two keys, we don't need to buy a key. We're gonna open up the shortcut. Shortcut, we're gonna open up the uh, Oubliette, break the chests, and you know, if we, no, if we don't have keys on the next floor, we can't open up all the chests, so be it. Getting a couple of table tech items and an elder blank is just very, very good. I'm more than happy with this. Will we be able to find the secret room? Yup. I'll take it, honestly. You know, being able to have a little bit of extra ammo is, is nice, but hey. Ultimately, pretty good floor. We didn't get a decoy, but we got something that is possibly better, question mark, in the Predator. Anything being able to let us steal, you know, I'm happy with. Oh. Saucy Boy Beto. Do you think a controller is good for a casual player? I think that you should play however you want to play the game. And that the controller that you use is less of a importance as is your overall play. You know, play smart, dodge smart, shoot smart, make good decisions. You can play this game with a controller or a keyboard, it doesn't really matter. We have a synergy. What? <laughs> Hold on, we have some sort of like a time slowdown synergy happening here. Uh, table tech sl sight with slower enemy bullets. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. It's going to slow down time, but only on enemies that exist in the room, and then when we kill the enemies in a room, their bullets are gonna travel at normal speed because of the weird behavioral issues that kind of come up when you slow down enemy bullets. Uh, it's an interesting one. I like it. I like the weirdo synergies like this. Oh, you know what? I understand it. It's a combination of Table Tech Sight giving you time slow down, and then it's going so slow that it's basically as if time was, was standing still, but you're moving normal speed. Oh, I don't know why I never really thought about it in that mindset before, but that's actually really incredible. That's a great synergy to have. I mean, just the effect of it, not not necessarily that it's super amazing, it's just, yo, we got time slowdown. That's awesome! That's a mimic! You can't see me. Unfortunately, the old crest is behind a locked door. I would really love to be able to just walk in there and grab it, but we can't. Oh well. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to, uh... get either a really amazing weapon like an AK-47 or a gelatin key, or maybe we'll be able to just get like six key drops from the boss somehow. I think on the last run we had both the A key and the Shelaton key, but I actually don't remember picking up the A key. Even though Chance Bullets was giving us A key, I think we only have the Shelaton key. So maybe we'll be able to find Key Salesman. Maybe we'll be able to just get the keys, buy the keys. Speaking of buying, I would definitely like to buy the, uh, what's the other thing in the shop? Lo all right, Lodestone Amulet. Lodestone Amulet combined with the Table Tech Blank, combined with the Elder Blank would be a great combination. Of course, of course. You know what, there you go. Break all those barrels, poison all the enemies. There you go. Oh, what is this? 
tables? Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, admittedly the game breaks on this kind of stuff. The, the screen doesn't always go sepia tone. This guy's gun is moving. Enemies kind of look around as they're dying. <laughs> Gets to be a little funky sometimes. Abe Clancy more like Babe Clancy because you fine as hell. I hope I play fine. R. Vandor says, I prefer controller for dodge angles that aren't 0, 0.45 or 90 degrees. That doesn't really come up that often playing with a controller, but I definitely, or playing with a keyboard, but I definitely understand that, that you can have a little bit more fine-tuned dodging. That's a perfectly acceptable reason for playing with a controller. Some people just like controllers. I like controllers for certain games. You know, I'm not gonna play Celeste with a keyboard and mouse. Not like you can't, it's just personal preference right there. You could play with a frickin' uh, Steam controller if you really wanted to. I've only used a Steam controller like twice ever. My friend has one and he occasionally brings it out into the living room if uh, people are playing a game on the TV in case people want to use it, but I, I still, I haven't gotten used to the haptic feedba feedback pad. I understand it in principle, but I just haven't really found an opportunity to use it because I just haven't needed one, you know? Can the wand transmogrify enemies? Nope, it just lights them on fire. Really, it doesn't light him up. He's a freaking mimic! Well. Got him. We get Rubidine and the Mail Gun. It's actually pretty sweet. I do like a good Rubidine, especially if we can get some synergies for it, especially if we can maybe make it, uh, gotta get this. Make it the uh, Super Rubidine Mark II. That would be lovely. We did get a key. I don't believe it. We can actually open up the good quality chest on the floor and get the old crest. That's some streamer luck right there. Shot bow. I'll take a shot bow. Get one accuracy upgrade. All of a sudden, this thing just destroys enemies. Or the Synergy. The Synergy is not as good as an Accuracy Upgrade, I think, because uh, it's a really widespread, but it is really nice. Some of the strats I use for dodging the rat are nearly impossible on controller. That shouldn't be the case. You should be able to make any dodge with a controller that you make on a keyboard. The controller just gives you the added flexibility of making dodges in different directions. I don't, I don't see how the controller would be any worse for dodging, at all. It should be the same or technically better because you can make dodges a little bit more specifically. And exactly. Exactly. You didn't even know I used a controller for any game? Heck yeah, when I'm playing Celeste, sometimes I, before I start up, I gotta go like, all right, where's my controller? Gotta find the cable for it. <laughs> Celeste, uh, Spelunky, you know, platforming games, I'm, I'm gonna be using a controller for those. I think it is the, the better experience for those types of games. Oh boy, reinforcements! There they are. Wait, what happened? Why are you not frozen? Why Why did the ghost not get frozen when they teleported in? I don't understand what's going on.
It's weird. Icon for Predator changes depending on where you're looking. It's one of the only guns in the game to do that. Every other gun in the game, it um, it just has a sprite. But the Predator, I guess because it... They wanted a th like 3D realistic model for it, it kind of just changes the actual angle of the, the sprite for it. The weird thing is that because of, the, of that fact, it also just looks really freaking weird. Like, it wobbles around as I'm trying to aim. It's very strange. It, I, I don't know why they did that with Predator Gun. They could have just made it a regular sprite and it would have been okay. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier to do as well, I think. Who needs time to slow down, to actually slow down the enemies? <sighs> Just waiting. You know what? I got the blanks for it. I really don't want to take damage and lose the old crest just because I'm stubborn against a lead maiden and got stuck in a corner. <laughs> Red Shy Guy says, I lost a run because my doggo jumped on me during a jammed lich fight rip me. That wouldn't make you lose a run if your dog hits you. Your dog doesn't do contact damage to you. I don't think. Maybe he just scared you. Maybe you're like, oh god, a wolf! No, wait, he's mine! <laughs> in which case, I could understand making the wrong move and shooting yourself in the foot. Well, we could do more stealing, but we have Predator, and Predator is reusable stealing. We don't need the chaff grenade. Now, there is also the op for sale. Op is a pretty cool gun. But I don't think we need it. And I know I could steal it. I mean, I, I probably should steal it, right? It's just one curse for having a free A-tier gun. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's almost no reason not to try to steal that. It's gonna cost us like six rounds in Predator. Oh no, not Predator ammo. I need that to live. Wow, these chests are unfortunately probably not going to be able to be opened. Eh, never mind, we'll open these two. I've immediately changed my mind. Green chests, they get opened. Ring of Ethereal form, I'm sorry. You're a good item, but we've got a blank synergy going on. I'm going to keep the blank. RPG, I like it. Predator, let's steal ourselves a gun. Yo, where'd he go? Yoink. Let's fight the boss. Yeah, the Predator gun is shoulder mounted, but it still is weird. Like, they didn't have to do that. They could have just used the a side sprite for it and it would have been okay. Because every other... That's, I guess that's why sometimes you just walk around with Predator. <laughs> I was even thinking about doing that when I was up here, but I didn't mention it. Like, if we just walk around with Predator, wouldn't we be able to find wall mimics easily? So, you know, this is a wall mimic. I mean, if we wanted to, we could just, like, shoot him. He's also a jammed wall mimic. Got him. We got silver bullets. All right, that's is definitely worthwhile. <laughs> that seems extremely good. No, don't eat that. It's bad for your health. Snacks are not supposed to eat turrets. Who needs to use a blank on Amoconda? Haven't you been using the Elder Blank? Shut up! Bum bum 
bum, 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 bum. We get the heavy boots. Money roll. Ah, oh, that's a horrible money roll. We get heavy boots. Decent if we had access to a shotgun. We do not have a shotgun. Ergo, it's not the best gun in the world for us. But it's still a gun. We'll take it. We have 38 credits. We could try to steal something from Bello, but stealing from him is not a guarantee anymore because we've already done it once in the run. So he could close up shop forever, and I would prefer him not to close up shop forever. So we are going to say goodbye, Glass Guanstone. We're just going to move on down to the next floor. Nice. Well, that was certainly a weird <laughs> moment being able to see the wall mimic and then just kind of crush Amoconda, but at least we flawless Amoconda for once. Feel good about that one. It feels like it's been a while. But I suppose what we should do now is probably walk around after we fight the boss or after we complete the floor and just look to see if we can't find a wall mimic with Predator. The only thing it'll cost us is a couple of moments just to do the walking. The synergy is cool, but it, it does feel like you lose a little bit of time on your triple shot compared to not having the time slowdown synergy. Because when you don't have the time slowdown synergy, I think that you get more bullets for free. What you gain though is you gain the uh, slow motion effect, which is nice. You know, I was literally about to ask, why are these enemies dying so quickly? Silver bullets. Silver bullets. Silver bullets. You know what? Get stunned. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Good lord. Do I have a finished gun unlocked? Oh, if you haven't heard me talk about finished gun, you're in for a not treat. I think that finished gun is extremely common and should be less common. I don't like it because it is too common. It doesn't feel special when you pick it up, so I, I don't pick it up anymore. There you go. Does that make me a coward? Maybe. But it also makes me honest, God damn it! You dead yet? You're dead yet. There you go, fall into the frickin' pit. What mic do I use? This is a old snowball. Because it's, it's what I got, it's the only thing I got. Actually, that's a complete lie. I do have another microphone, but it's not as good because it has a external power adapter for it, because uh, it doesn't take power from USB but it usually ends up having a little bit of noise as a result. It kind of has a little bit of a hiss. So I have to run it through post-processing in order to remove the hiss and it doesn't sound quite as clear as this one does. So I've just been using the snowball for the longest time and it's been all right. Yo, I'm so By the way, I'm sorry for the weird flashing that happens a, a little while after I flip a table. It's like the game doesn't properly understand that I'm done with the slowdown effect and it's trying to give me a little bit more, uh, or it, it's like counting down internally when it should do the flash freeze to get rid of the sepia tone, but it's already not on the screen and it's just like messing up. It's weird, okay? It's, it's very weird. There you go. I guess we should use, eh, it doesn't matter what we use, let's be honest. How different is finished gun compared to unfinished gun? It's a completely different weapon. Finished gun like blocks enemy bullets and has like a ref reflection capability on it and does a lot of damage and is perfect accuracy. Unfinished gun is garbage. <laughs> it's completely different. Hey, Milk Jug, hello, well, welcome, how you doing? Good, I hope. Um. This is not a good enough gun. That gets the job done, at least. 
Do zombies get afraid of you when you reload the gun? Jammed enemies are afraid. They should be the ones that are not afraid. They're freaking jammed. I should be afraid of them. Is there a way to remove flashes? The camera gives you headaches. I should add that in for you because the answer is no. However, I have in my mod removed flashes from Vorpal Gun because I thought that those flashes and time slowdowns were very annoying. But it shouldn't be that hard to add it into other weapons or effects in the game. I believe that could be something that I could work on at some point. You can talk to Alburn if you teleport out of his room when you open up the chest, he'll stay behind. Hmm. I imagine he probably doesn't say that much. Can't I, can't I just like smash E and then talk to him before he leaves anyways? Maybe not. There you go. Um, we should buy guns. Don't have a lot of HP, but that should be fine. We're only fighting the old king. <laughs> we should have enough HP as it is. We also have a, a piercing high damage dragon fire. Although admittedly, with this dragon fire, I kind of want to keep it full on ammo because it is like a really good room clearing gun. Oh, come on. I need something that does more damage. You know, Staff of Firepower does a decent amount of damage. That's a bad hit to take. I thought I had the dodge right. That's the first damage we took on the uh, on the entire run so far. Boo, boo! Fuck you, old king. You suck. doing the same attacks over and over again, like at the same times. I do appreciate it though. Out of ammo. This is not really the gun I want to use for that situation. <laughs> remember that time I died? I, I do remember that did happen. I do believe it. Let's go back to Rubidine for a minute. We still haven't found the other secret room. We don't even know if there's gonna be one on the floor, but we might as well take like a moment to look. I don't see one. So we'll buy the key. We'll get rid of a little bit more HP for money. We'll open up the Sinner Grace chest and then we'll, we'll skedaddle skadoodle, I suppose. We're done. We're done with the floor. Hey, it's a shotgun. Synergizes with the heavy boots. Good enough. I'll take it. We did find both secret rooms. All right, never mind. I thought that maybe we still had one available somewhere on the floor. Nope. It's been done. Junkin? We had Sir Junkin, I think, on the last run as well, but unfortunately, uh, because we had Mimic Tooth Necklace, we couldn't take advantage of it. I guess I could have always dropped Mimic Tooth Necklace, but I didn't want to. It's too good. I'm not gonna get rid of all of my health, because I don't think we need to. You know, all we need to do is steal if we want something, first of all, and then secondly, um, all we need to do is make it to chamber four, and then we'll have access to a cell creep. We can just sell anything that we don't want in order to buy whatever we want. Alright, you're a big annoying enemy, but you actually didn't take that long to kill? I suppose because we do more damage, huh? 
I'm always misinterpreting the uh, actual value you get from that. You get a lot of extra damage from silver bullets. These guys die extremely quickly when they're jammed. Some enemies might even take less time to kill when jammed, just because of the damage upgrade you get from silver bullets. Don't quote me on that, but I have a feeling it might be true. I think it depends on the enemy, and I, I say that because I do believe that certain enemies in the game get a more HP bonus from being jammed than others, like a standard bulletkin. A standard bulletkin will basically go from uh, like 25 HP to 75, but a gun nut will probably go from like 150 to 200, which is less of an increase. I'm, I'm pulling numbers out of my ass, but that's basically what it is. So I, I feel like some enemies might be easier to kill if you have the uh, damage upgrade from silver bullets and the enemy being cursed. Oh, they were frozen. They didn't stand a chance. Yoink. What the heck? It's been a while since I've seen that happen. A laser beam gets stuck on one of those guys' shells. Hard hats? I mean, they definitely remind me of the hard hat enemies from Mega Man. I don't know what they're called. Are they miners? Minelets? I guess I could look it up in the Ammonomicon if I wasn't so lazy, but I'm lazy! Also, I have an RPG, which means we can take out the turret! He's been done! To death! To death? To shreds, you say? Should use that RPG. <clears throat> Robot cannot get money from vampire or healing from heal people. That is correct. Uh, the robot, though, can get a benefit from the Patches and Mendy encounter. The robot can get a bottle, a piece of armor, or a piece of junk. One of those three things. Which makes it not that bad of an encounter for the robot, because, you know, if you get junk, you basically have a damage upgrade, and if you get HP, well, then you have gotten something out of it that is health-related. So it's not as bad as you would think. Could you possibly reach the damage cap with blessing and a curse synergy? Metronome, fat bullets, and stout bullets. Oh, blessing and a curse? Is, is that the one that gives you a permanent damage upgrade whenever you kill a jammed enemy? I mean, you can, you can hit the damage cap depending on your guns at certain times, you know, if you're using, you know, Disintegrator, you might be at the damage cap on a boss. If you're using a grenade launcher, maybe you'll have the damage cap, especially if you have hip holster or something. You can hit the damage cap pretty easily on enemies. Oh, I didn't see the pit. <laughs> That was silly. Bullet kit on the minecart got stuck on a rat. Yep. Their AI is the best. You would think that it would kill the rat because I think... Actually, you know what? If the player was in the minecart, I don't know if it would actually kill the rat. Gungeon myth busting. We need help. Isn't this just a good run of Gungeon? Just walking into a room and killing everything almost instantly. You know what? You can get junked. I don't really care about a single brown chest. This chest, we'll open it. Hot lead! We got fire and poison bullets. I love it. Aged Bell? No. Aged Bell, if you're if you're talking about that weird slow motion, it's a synergy between Table Tech Sight and Liquid Valkyrie. Monster Blood? One or the other. That's what's giving us the weird time slowdown. You know what we should do? 
Mimics? Wall mimics? Wall, no? Okay. I should really just have that as like a secondary or something to switch to it on occasion and go like, well, Mimics? Mimics? Any Mimics here? Any Mimics? Mimics? Any at all? Mimics! Get your Mimics! Get your free items from Mimics! If you have Ring of Mimic Friendship, Mimic Chest Friendship or whatever it's called, will you still get Wall Mimics? You're gonna do this song and dance again, huh? Well, good luck. I gotta use at least one blank at some point. <laughs> it's my freaking spacebar item. Yo, that was really good. Oh, heavy boots, right. Other than synergizing with shotguns, this is like the one other side effect of using the uh, heavy boots. It's that you can't use Alien Engine and then get the actual uh, throwback from it. Which I like. I like getting the throwback. The velocity in the negative direction. Um, we should probably gun munch. What are we gonna gun munch? Let's gun munch the shot bow and the RPG. Because we have not used these guns basically at all. Your favorite thing to do in Gungeon is kill a basic bulletkin with the makeshift cannon. You could do that if you had the turkey, you know. Take two shots on, on a couple of other enemies to get the turkey charge, and then take your third shot on any other enemy in the game, and you'll get your ammo back instantly. There you go. Snap. Or if you had... like a super space turtle, then I think you could just get infinite ammo for any weapon. Because Super Space Turtle, for some reason, works with Turkey. You'll get ammo refunds. It's horribly broken. I can't remember if I did it before with Makeshift Cannon. I did go infinite with Makeshift, makeshift Cannon Turkey. With very careful application of, you know, shooting an enemy with a couple of, with a two bullets from another gun, and then the third bullet is from makeshift cannon, but I don't think I did it with turkey. I think I've only just noticed it with turkey and been like, wow, this is completely broken. This is awesome. How do you know which boss is gonna happen each floor? Well, I mean, if you just mean what boss you think you're gonna be fighting, Right. You shoot instantly. God, I fucking hate those enemies. The fact that they don't have any charge up is really annoying. Um, you know, ch Chamber 4, for instance, the Hollow. We know what bosses we could fight. Wallmonger, Kill Pillars, or High Priest. We know that if we have a large vertical section, it could be Wallmonger. We know if we approach from the left or right side, it's not High Priest. We know that if we approach from the bottom, it is probably likely going to be High Priest, just because of the fact that it's the only permutation of entrances that can let you fight him. And then sometimes you just think to yourself, you know who we haven't seen lately? This guy. And then that's your boss. Doorlord only spawns from the bottom. I never think about Doorlord because he's so rare. Like, what, seriously, when was the last time I fought Doorlord? A million years ago? Sounds about right to me. Good lord, I'm using Gunzang as a room clearing gun. So this tells me we're probably gonna be fighting a Wallmonger because we have a large vertical area underneath the boss arena. And we're approaching from the left. Could be wrong, could be fighting kill pillars, but you know, I'm, I'm putting my money down. I'm saying it's gonna be Wallmonger, his 50 bucks. Do I have any takers? Any Anyone taking that bet? The word says I've gotten Doorlord on top. 
I think, or he's gotten it anyways. If someone says you can only get it from the bottom, honestly, I'd believe him. That sounds like something that Gungeon would do. Yeah, I really wish that we could actually have picked up a key. Got any keys for us? Keys, please? Keys? No keys? All right, no keys. Lord Viper says he bets it's kill pillars. You better 50 bucks ready. I collect on my bets. We got <laughs> Fuck you, game. You're gonna give me a key now? Wall Mimics? Wall Mimics? Gotta check every once in a while. You know, you never think. You never think about it, but it could just be a Wall Mimic anywhere. Although if I'm using Gunzang, you know, it's relatively likely we're gonna accidentally shoot him anyways, so... Maybe it doesn't matter too much. Nah, you're dead. Yeah, this is definitely the best spent killing gun that I have. I can just stand still and shoot without having to reload. Don't burn. Oh man, it's it's like, I would say 80% likely that it's gonna be Wallmonger just because of the vertical space. It, it is possible that it could. Oh, there you go. It is possible that it could still be the uh, the kill pillars. You know, I, I haven't. I, I don't. That's why I'm not saying it's a hundred percent. Only that I have a theory, and my theory is that I need more cowbell. Donk 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 donk. Hey, milk jug. You got hit by red ants at the barn today. I would give you my apologies if I didn't think it was so damn funny for some reason. <laughs> Shouldn't even say for some reason. Of course it's damn funny! <clears throat> Bite the red ants in revenge? Oh, absolutely. We need the key. I'll take a heart. Might as well stockpile more blanks. For no freaking reason, except that we might be able to, uh... Whew, close one. Uh, except that we just might be able to... You know, still not have to worry about money, we can still steal from the next floor, we gain a little bit of a damage upgrade whenever we steal. We have guns that we don't care about, like trash cannon. Trash cannon. Find a blank shrine. Oh, absolutely. I would love to find a blank shrine. There's the cell creep. I was wondering where you were. So let's start getting rid of garbage. Like, AC-15 we don't need. Trash cannon we don't need. Let's get rid of Polaris. We don't really need that. Let's get rid of the JK as well. There we go. Simplified our life a little bit. Have plenty of money. Can buy whatever we want. So, let's get Addle Skadoodle. We could do the bonus floor, but, eh, whatever, who cares? Who cares, really? Wall Mimics? Wall Mimics? No Wall Mimics. Now, did we find the secret room? Yes, we did, all right. Time to go. How do you get Daisuke? Daisuke! Um, all you have to do is find him in a cell like every other NPC in the game, completely random. At least I think it's completely random when he shows up. Or like, when you find him. There might be an unlock criteria for him, like beat the dragon once or something, but... You find him, you free him, he's yours forever. <laughs> find him, free him, and make him yours. Were you jammed? No, he just died extremely quickly. All right. No, you're not getting away. Wow, he's even, he's faster than me even when he's not jammed, I hate him. He's the worst enemy in the game. 
Big blue dogs can suck my big blue dog. I should not have flipped that table. We're gonna have to sit here for a minute. Do, 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 do. Some people in chat are saying you have to find Daisuke after a, uh, not good enough, after a uh, past kill. I could see it. I could see that being part of the unlock criteria for him. Wow, so the shops have been a little poor as of late. They started out amazing. You know, the first shop we ever got is incredible. Ever since then, it's been kind of garbage. It's very unfortunate. Guessing I found the D20 shrine, that's a lot of blanks. <laughs> if only, we've just been holding on to these ones. Turkey, well there you go, we were talking about it. So if we wanted to, we could cheese it and get like, nearly infinite ammo with any particular weapon that we have, or, We could just say, hey, thank you for having just a little bit more ammo efficiency, Turkey, and we'll just move on with our lives. Right, heavy boots. The other use of heavy boots. Of course, also now the game's gonna give me so many keys after we've already done like six floors. You know, you can't give me these keys on floor one when we had to break all those chests, nah. Give him the keys on floor five. When it's the last floor in the game that requires you to have keys to open things. Thanks game, you're the best. Yo, I think we got a damage bonus against the enemy because they got buffed. Cause we killed them extremely quickly. It's a little bit of an unintentional synergy. The the freaking mages must be pissed at their friend. This is the w one time when you did your job and you ended up screwing us. Jamo Mancer, well, I'm sorry guys. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to do my job here. You guys have been saying I need to buff you, buff you more. Not against that guy, he has silver bullets. Well, you know, I didn't really know that at the time. I can only do what, uh, what I've been programmed to do. You suck. Well, you know, sucks for them. <laughs> we could take the Full Metal Jacket. I don't think we have anything that synergizes with it other than, you know, a billion blanks and maybe Elder Blank. Does Elder Blank give you a free hit with Full Metal Jacket, or does Full Metal Jacket not use Elder Blank? I thought I remember at one point someone saying that it would be cool if it did, but I don't know if they added that in or whatnot. It would be kind of cool, but... It's unnecessary at this point, so I don't really feel the need to, to fiddle with it. Bot's been gone for a few days. Oh, the Amonama bot? I can't do anything with Amonama bot, it's not my bot. If someone else's chat bot is broken, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Don't look at me. Yeah, the blanks, you know, extras do carry over. The only thing that changes blanks is if it'll give you free blanks if you run out. You know, if you recharge up to two, then it'll, you'll get up to two every floor. Until you have to. Well, I mean, you'll you'll get up to your limit, rather. Seems like a good time for this. Nice. Ooh, 
Careful. Careful, Turkey. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. There we go. Okay. This is. <laughs> Just have to wait a minute. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Venom veins? Venom veins. Well... We are done with the floor. We have done everything 49 minutes into it. Might as well fight the boss. Mr. Dragon. Honestly, might as well use Gunzang. Well, now nah, we'll switch to something else because we're so far away. I don't know. We haven't used the op at all. Let's use the op for a little while. I do like Gunzang, but without having any sort of an accuracy upgrade, its spread is a little intense. You know what? We got him. Thank you for the ammo back, Turkey. You can see it working, which is kind of cool. Very slowly get a little bit of ammo back when these bullets hit the wall and then stop moving. Alien engine. Get some nice, delicious dragon hearts. Just cook them up. Uh, my gun is still firing. I hope I'm not using ammo. Although knowing the game, I probably am. Hello? Yes? No? Maybe so? Uh... Hey, how's it going? I'm here to peruse your wares. Oh god, I'm sorry! Oh, it's burning you! I can't control the gun! It's on auto! Oh god! Just imagine, you know, that scene from uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom of their faces melting. <laughs> I can't, well, okay. Like, dodge rolling doesn't even fix it. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it. Oh, even, even shooting my gun doesn't change it. It's very pretty. My engine's misfiring, though. Uh, all right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, good lord. Um, you can really see where the uh, level is like broken. <laughs> or like the Z inde index of things doesn't line up properly. If your engine is misfiring, you should probably talk to your doctor. If your alien engine keeps firing for more than four hours, please talk to your doctor. Hey, it's good now. That was very weird. What the heck was that? This thing is synergizing, I think, with... Uh... Now, what is it synergizing with? I got no idea. What, what, what item did I pick up that makes the synergy with alien engine? Mutation. So, so what happens if I do this? Drop mutation, fire the alien engine, pick it up. Nope, doesn't break. All right, I was really wanting to see if I could try to break it. I don't think I can break it. Doesn't matter, let's go. Have a table. called it. Well, congratulations for knowing what the synergy was. Oh, wait. We got blessed and a curse. I didn't even think about that. We have a permanent damage upgrade whenever we kill a jammed enemy now. I was completely oblivious. Oh, crap. He didn't spawn in. I was completely oblivious to that, but 
Nice, we got it. It's really cool. Oh, okay. So they were invisible, but I still took contact damage from them. Thanks, game. <laughs> Good lord. It's weird. The time slowdown stuff is cool in Gungeon, but it's also really fucking glitchy. Like, all the time. Like, I walk into a room, kill an enemy, and then an invisible enemy hits me. <clears throat> like, that's totally fair. Thanks, game. Thanks, Gungeon. The most fair game ever. I would be pissed if I was still trying to do a no-hit run, but we lost that a long time ago. I mean, we only lost it first on the uh, old king, and then I stopped caring. Man, Dragonfire is such a good gun. What else do we got? Bro, well, you didn't... Freaking shot grub didn't even wait to like fully spawn in before he got affected by the time to slow down. That was really weird. Really, you didn't get affected by that? I guess he was so far away from the uh, active item use, he didn't get frozen or stunned from my elder blank. This is much worse than the dragon fire, which is why I'm using it, but I'm gonna switch back, because this is better and more fun. Did I already find one of the hub rooms, by the way? Oh, I definitely did. It was a room with the shot grubbers. No reason I'm falling, ba or I'm uh, turning back on myself here. For some reason, I thought that we had still yet to have found the, uh, the first hub room. But I was looking at the uh, level generation and I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like the right direction. Of course not, you gotta go down from here. Stupid brain. Again, not getting any, uh, any freezing at a certain distance away from these enemies. It's very unfortunate. Or a gunny, huh? I mean, sure. Or is probably gonna kick ass, especially with triple shot. From flipping a table, that is. Otherwise, it's probably not gonna be super effective. It does get a, like, a, a weird triple shot on its first bullet. But those shots, they don't seem to have a high likelihood of landing necessarily. Let's go back to Vertebrae K, uh, maybe Mutation, Venom Veins? Wow, what a home. This gun's got really incredible homing on it. By the way, glad I chose Venom Veins for this room. Don't have to worry about those red mages at all. We did use like 150 rounds though. It's not very eff effective. But then again, we didn't have any tables, unlike what we did there, which is have tables. Yo, give me my jammed enemies. I want damage. I want more damage. I want all the damage in the world. Eh, let's fight the guy. Let's fight the guy. We got a synergy up? I, I picked up all these synergies and I didn't even notice. I'm so ashamed. I'm so unfortunately forgetful and not observant. Except it doesn't matter, because Lich is dead. And I have more blanks in HP at this point. That's crazy. That's a lot of blanks. It, this was such a weird run. It felt like we had coolness. 
throughout the entire thing. We picked up a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of free blank drops in room combats. To me, it felt like from the very beginning, we, we had like a coolness upgrade. But I don't think we did. I think we just got lucky or something on the drops because we had a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Have, have some ore gunny. I have enough damage. I think we can we can handle you. Even using this gun. I say even using this gun, but it's pretty good. I want chicken. I want liver. I want coolness. Gungeon, please deliver. That's too many syllables. Get out of here. By the way, I, re I refuse to use any blanks in this fight. We're not going to use any. We're just going to use Elder Blank. I'm going to finish this run with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blanks. Because why not? No, 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 no. Change guns at this point. Seems like on recent runs when I picked up Skull Spitter and Vertebrae, I never used them. So there we go. We used it. Hey, good run, ton of blanks from floor one. We knew what this run was. Very, very blank focused, defensive, slower enemy bullets, table tech blank, table tech sight, elder blank, the weird time slowdown synergy with our starting item. It's a good run. Good run. Lord Viper asks, what is the easiest jam boss to fight? I don't know. They're all roughly the same except for the Beholster who has a um, a new attack. Well, it's not a new attack, just like an upgraded attack. It fires more missiles, which is weird, uh, even though that was like a five minute ago comment. Good run. Flawless of the bosses. Lots of damage. Good guns. Good items. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for one of the live support me on Twitch, Patreon, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.